Hello and welcome crypto friends. We are looking towards the end of the first half of uh, the year for 2024 and recording this on the weekend of the 29th of June and down here in Melbourne just oh, looking about just before eight and wow it's really turning into a free for all the downside in relation to the cryptocurrencies at the moment and uh, basically you know, we were discussing this last week in terms of you know, the continuing weakness in terms of what was going on or potential weakness overall as well should the uh, support levels fail and sure enough they did and um well, it was a matter of, uh, okay, that particular point in time to the downside, like we were discussing last week in terms of Bitcoin, and then keeping those puts in there should all the support areas fail. And sure enough, the support area around at the 63,500 mark went right through in terms of Bitcoin there and testing the bottom area down there in relation to uh, the 61,200 uh, 61, area. And that area has was the rest of the week after the initial failure of that area and then the bounce back up towards the, um, that particular support area again. So now it's a matter of whether... We regain that area more than anything else in terms of the sixty-one thousand one hundred eighty level, because we basically um, because basically when we were speaking last week, we were around about this area here, just flirting with that sixty-three and a half thousand level, and um, looking towards testing that sixty-one thousand two hundred level should that area have broken, and sure enough, it did. Um, and at that point, perhaps maybe coming back to test a higher level, but not really at the. But either way, we really have just been following this 10-day moving average all the way down and continually doing so overall there, whether that will continue to keep on mounting. Interestingly enough, now this is where things do get really, really interesting. We are actually experiencing a breach on Bitcoin ADX at this point in time in terms of the negative DMI breaching beneath the ADX. A little bit of a decline in the bearishness, and this is actually, believe it or not, amongst all of the coins that get um, reviewed on a weekly basis through this particular video. We're starting to see quite a similar type going through it. But, <clears throat> pardon me, um, we will actually start seeing that pattern. And it seems to be that common theme. So perhaps we might see some of these bounces off these areas overall. So just something to keep in mind, but it's breaking through some of these areas in terms of support, the support levels that have turned to resistance and also declining 10 day moving averages. We'll go across to Ethereum and see what you think there because we've got this same pattern happening here as well in terms of that breach of the ADX by the negative DMI, which would indicate potential bullishness. But as you can see here as well, he was now on the resistance level here as well on Ethereum. We'll need to regain that and also regain the declining 10 day moving average. So, some interesting times ahead here as well for this. And you can really see the weakness for Ethereum even this week as well, which was actually the strongest. I was about to say, not about to say stronger, but actually no, strongest out of all of the ones that were actually the others. This has actually been holding up probably the best um, in a weak market. Uh, but even this has actually been struggling in terms of maintaining itself above the 10-day moving average, as you can see. Uh, testing it here towards the end of the week and failing as well. So now we're getting some mixed signals here. Potential relaxing of the bearishness. So yeah, watch this space. Litecoin? Okay, now this is actually, again, starting to show a little bit of strength, believe it or not. But this time we're actually getting above the 10-day moving average, which is actually very, very interesting. Firmly in the green zone, or below the green zone area, and actually bouncing off a support area here at the 69.73 level. Very fascinating. Now, whether it actually is gaining some traction, remains to be seen. But the biggest thing overall here is taking a look at the RSI down below, really starting to actually show some traction, but also a petering out of the ADX being that orange line in terms of bearishness. Um, So... Definitely watch this space. Obviously, it's going to be tackling against the potential resistance here uh, that's drawing itself there. Can't really draw a full horizontal rate and say that's a resistance line there yet until it's proven to a downside move. So let's just wait and see how that goes. Moving across the Dogecoin. Now, a little bit of a bounce off here, maybe even potential double bounce overall here, double bottom. But we're back to a 10-day moving average here as well. But the momentum seems to be increasing still to the downside, even though we have an RSI above. So this is really becoming... Very, very interesting as to which direction that's actually going to go. Even though we have actually had the minus DMI crossing over that that um, ADX, in terms of the ADX, that's the other side of the coin. It hasn't actually done so yet. So it's still actually increasing the momentum to the downside, even though it's not reflecting in the unit price. Just seems to be confused and waiting for direction. So Dogecoin, not really much going traction at this point in time. Bitcoin Cash, you could probably say about the same really at this neutral at this point in time, not getting anywhere, not moving anywhere, not being able to get out of its own way at this stage. So very much the same as what you're really seeing over there with Dogecoin. And Polkadot, 
okay, what have we got going over here? Well, that's actually moved upwards 30 day moving average. So very interesting there. As you can see though, fair amount of resistance in terms of former levels of levels of areas of interest over here, which are the top areas of the green zone. That's depicted by these red, these red lines. That was where those former areas of level of interest were in the past. So a lot to get through in order to actually move up ahead. Uh, but interestingly enough, as you can see, uh, which is the negative DMI, um, so the strength of that is actually declining. So that is very, very interesting, especially with the RSI actually increasing a dramatic rate there as well. So we've got some movement in terms of the dot there. Could be potentially trying to make a move and make an, make an actual stanza against this level of interest. So watch this space when it comes to Polkadot. You're trying to make an effort to get out of its no-man's land between the 10 and 30 day moving average and break up above the level of interest. Uh, however, struggling to do so, admittedly, even though you've got declining bearishness in terms of momentum and increasing bullishness in terms of RSI, but not enough to break it out of that green zone, probably being dragged backwards by the other coins and also especially by Bitcoin and Ethereum's weakness. And last but not least, we've got Cardano as well. And Cardano was just, but it's really neutral in terms of the DMI, really being stuck between the 10 to 30 day moving averages. So what does this all mean? Putting it all together, we're starting to see some momentum shifting in relation to declining bearishness, looking at the DMIs. There has been some crossovers that we can really see in terms of the DMI with a negative DMI crossing over the ADX being the orange line. So there is something going on in terms of some, I mean, in particular, you'll really see that. Um, so we're seeing some shifts actually occurring in terms of that. It's not being reflected directly in the unit price per se as yet, but some of these things do take some time to develop. But interestingly enough, we're seeing some of these shifts occurring in the momentum indicators and also in the RSI down below too. So let's just see how things do go. But a lot of these resistances to overcome, and also some of these declining 10-day moving averages, and in some cases, trying to actually break out of these green zone areas and also try and get out of these areas um, between the 10 and 30-day moving averages or the no man's land territory. So a lot of resistances to overcome up above, a lot to um, observe over time before some of these movements upwards can occur and be able to actually break through all this overhead of where all the former trading had occurred and people getting out of the market to break even paper losses on the uh, cards. And they'd be able to say, oof, got out of that unscathed if the unit price comes back up. But of course, that's going to be putting extra pressure on the unit prices should the actual price come back up to that level and then people sell out in order to break even or take a small loss. So a lot to think about. Um, and that could be pleased for some time to come uh, unless there's a major push in the immediate future. I hope that's helped out a lot in relation to taking a look at these charts that we look at on a regular basis. Um, keep an eye out also over the next couple of weeks, considering the fact that we've actually just gone through the long-term moving averages analysis will be coming out over the next couple of weeks, so I'll get to work on that as soon as I can. Um, so that should reveal some really interesting information, I've got a feeling, and it'll be fascinating to see how turns um, in the long-term moving averages are applying to each of these coins as well um, as we speak. Just weekly review, as well as the long-term moving averages review of the markets overall as well, um, that should reveal some very interesting information, especially when it comes to the NASDAQ um, and also the Russell. Um, so they've got some major influences, especially when it comes to the general uh, mass as well. I'll leave it there for now. Have a fantastic week of trading. I'll catch up with you again next week and come across ASX Trades United. Leave some comments down below, all, all the regular things. Make sure you catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.